Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. This video on how to shine dress shoes teaches you the basic steps on shining shoes using Severe Shoe Polish. This routine can be completed in as little as five to 10 minutes and is perfect for both new and old shoes alike and is really meant to be kind of the basic daily maintenance shining routine that you would complete you know, on a weekly basis just to keep a pair of shoes looking great between the more intensive shoe shines like our presidential shoe shine. So the first step is going to be just to gently clean the surface of the shoes using some water just to remove any type of surface dirt. So I'm going to use a spray bottle. You could dampen a cloth, but the purpose here is just to provide a really light cleaning to remove any type of superficial dirt that is on the surface of the shoes. So after you've cleaned your shoes uh, using a damp cloth, the next step is to begin polishing them using a cream polish. Here we're using the Saphir Medal d'Or Palmadier Cream Polish, which is probably the best cream polish available uh, anywhere on the marketplace. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna condition and recolor the shoes. So first, uh, I like to use a cotton chamois to apply my cream polishes because I feel like I can do a better job controlling the amount that I'm applying. Less is more. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of cream polish on a cotton chamois and then massage it into the leather using circular motions. Now one of the nice things about the cream polish is it does act as a gentle cleaner because of the turpentine solvents that you find in the polish. So again, it's going to be helping to remove any type of surface dirt um, that you didn't get uh, in the first step. After you've applied a thin coat of the cream polish, you really want to allow the leather as much time as possible to absorb those nutrients. We recommend allowing at least three to five minutes for the leather to fully absorb the polish and for the waxes to dry, but you can certainly leave the polish on much longer than that. We have some shoemakers that I know actually saying that they'll leave their cream polish on overnight to allow that leather to absorb as much of those nutrients as possible. So after you've allowed the cream polish to dry, um, you know, for a good three to five minutes, the next step is gonna be to buff the, uh, the polish off using a horsehair brush. Now, uh, normally we recommend having two brushes, a black brush for your black shoes, and then a, a, a kind of a, another brush with a lighter bristles for your brown shoes. The purpose is just to basically keep you from using a brush that's got residual traces of black polish to buff your brown shoes and then end up with streaking. So um, this is a, our Hanger Project horsehair brush, 100% uh, tail hair, and uh, basically just buff the polish off using uh, moderate to firm pressure. Now, what you're gonna see here is that one, the brush is gonna remove any uh, excess polish that built up on top of the leather. It's gonna smooth that polish out. And then the friction between the horsehair bristles and the polish is actually going to cause those waxes uh, to begin to develop their shine. You can see with the high quality uh, Medabi or Pomodier cream polish that after just one application and one buffing, we're already getting a really nice shine uh, out of these pairs of shoes. Um, you can absolutely do more than one coat of a cream polish. You know, if it's been a while since you've polished your shoes like it has been with these Grinsons, uh, then I would probably recommend, you know, two to three different applications of the cream polish in order to build that finish. Wow, so you can see with just two applications of the Saphir Medal or Palmadier cream polish that these Grinsons are looking absolutely fantastic. You could honestly stop here if you are happy with this level of shine. But I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, one more coat of the uh, Saphir Medal d'Or Pate Deluxe Wax Polish just to show you how we can elevate this shine even more by adding some hard waxes. Now with the cream polish, what we've done is we've nourished the leather and we've recolored it. Now the wax polish is going to further help 
elevate that shine and add a little bit of protection uh, with the higher concentration of hard waxes. So I've got some of the Cognac uh, Medal d'Or Pate de Luxe Wax Polish here. I am matching the wax polish to the same color cream polish I used, uh, but there's no reason that you couldn't use um, a neutral wax uh, if that's all you had, because again, in this step, we're really less concerned about pigment uh, than we are about adding that higher concentration of hard waxes. So I'm gonna apply a light amount of the Pate de Luxe Wax Polish to my cotton chamois, and then I'm just going to apply this the same way that I did the cream polish in small little circular motions. Less is more whenever it comes to the wax polish. You don't have to apply a ton. The more you apply, the harder it's gonna to be to buff off. So after you've allowed the wax polish uh, a good two to three minutes to dry, uh, then simply buff it off with a horsehair brush the same way you did the cream polish using uh, moderate to firm pressure. Okay, so you can see that uh, with the Pate de Luxe Wax Polish, we've elevated that shine even more. Uh, we've also added a little bit of a higher amount of hard waxes to the surface of the leather. What that's gonna do is it's gonna provide just additional protection against uh, you know, any type of water spots uh, and just anything else that could damage the leather of the shoes. Uh, this shine is actually quite fantastic. I'm not going to do a second coat of the Pate de Luxe because honestly, I think these more casual loafers would be too shiny. Uh, but one note for someone that is wanting to elevate the shine even more, you could do a second application of the Pate de Luxe on the entire shoe. Um, that would be completely fine. But you want to be careful about applying too much wax across the vamp because when that bends uh, as you're walking, these hard waxes, if you have too much built up, are going to crack and leave a white residue. If that happens, it's very easy to remove, just buff it off with a horsehair brush. Uh, but just, again, because the Saphir Pate de Luxe Wax Polish has such a high concentration of hard waxes, you do want to be careful about building too much across the vamp. So there we have it. Just with uh, two products, the Saphir Madadur Palmadeur Cream Polish and the Pate de Luxe Wax Polish, we've totally uh, renovated and restored these shoes, uh, and they look fantastic. Um, so that's it for our basic shoe shine guide. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at uh, shoeshine at hangerproject.com or feel free to ask your questions in the comments section below. Uh, we love hearing from you uh, and we look forward to teaching you how to shine your shoes. Mm -hmm.